but we know that for high fives to be delivered in the boardroom, the insights from our discovery collaborations have to make a difference for your business. The bridge across these goal lines requires several iterations and translations, assists, passes. And I couldn't be more pleased tonight to introduce our evening keynote speaker to talk about this theme. Shoei Yamana is President and CEO of Konica Minolta Business Technologies and Senior Executive Officer and Board Member of Konica Minolta Holdings. He's the Senior Vice President of the Japan Business Machine and Information Systems Industry Association. He worked in Hong Kong, in the UK, in the US, and after the merger of Konica and Minolta, he became a Senior Executive Officer. He was Head of the Sales and Marketing and Corporate Strategy. Mr. Yamana-san will share a few insights tonight about partnering with Stanford for bold innovation. Mr. Yamana. Thank you very much, Master-san. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is truly an honor to be able to be here with all of you this evening. I can also tell you that we are quite enthusiastic about our partnership with Stanford University. When I was asked to speak about our partnership and how we see the benefit, I thought it would be best to begin by providing a background on Konica Minolta. The Konica Minolta Group is a Tokyo-based global organization operating directly in over 70 countries with 38,200 employees. In our fiscal year 2011, our consolidated revenue approached 10 billion US dollars with an operating profit of about 500, uh, 500 billion. Our core technology portfolio is focused on material science, precision optics, imaging, and nanofabrication. These four technology core competencies are the foundation of our business groups information business technologies, performance materials, healthcare, optics and sensing, industrial inkjet, and planetarium projectors. Business technologies represent about 71% of total group revenue. Kanika Minolta has a strong legacy of business outside of Japan, with the majority of our revenue coming from our operations in the US, Europe, and APEC. We are one of few companies in our space that can offer support for global organizations like BMW, Alliant, NASA, KPMG, and Aris Bank. We are driving growth both organically and through global M&A activity. Konica Minolta was formed in 2003 by the merger of Konica which was founded in 1873, and Minolta, which was founded in 1928. Both companies had a rich history in the photographic market. Konica was one of the world's leading manufacturers of film and photo paper, and Minolta was one of the most highly regarded brands in the camera business. At the time of the merger, 
our business, technologies business, was the biggest business within both organizations. The merger was born out of the realization that scale was going to be critical to becoming a tier one provider. Only by being a tier one provider could you continue to invest in fielding a full product and solutions set to the market. This led our genre top strategy, which was designed to concentrate our resources around the market segment with high growth potential. Several key decisions resulted from the genre top strategy. All of these decisions share a common theme on business transformation. The first major decision was to focus on color. We felt the future growth in the office print would be with color MAPs and invested a majority of our research into developing devices that could easily replace traditional monochrome devices. By concentrating our development resources on color products earlier in the market life cycle, we were able to gain substantial share and become a tier one provider. The second decision was to expand our print production business, building devices and solutions that could move traditional offset print business to our digital products. Specifically, we targeted the on-demand printing market, where digital media was creating the need for highly targeted short-run print. This business has grown to a billion dollars in new revenue and still is an area of high growth potential. And the third transform transformative decision was perhaps the most difficult. After extensive thought in 2005, we made the decision to exit the photographic business, shutting down in April 2007. The good news is that by taking earlier aggressive action, we managed to keep our company on the path of further growth. CSR is at the center of our management philosophy. We are proud to recently have been named to the Dow Jones Global Sustainability Index one of only 20 Japanese companies and 340 total organizations in the world. This assessment evaluates sustainability efforts from economic, environmental, and social development. Our Eco Vision 2050 initiative is focused reducing CO2 output through our green product certification system, the green factory certification system, and the green marketing. As a global company, essential to and supported by society worldwide, Konica Minorita will continue effort to create new business that help global environment and contribute to sustainable development of human society. Today's intellectual society requires sharing of knowledge and collaboration with each other 
to create new value to the society. Kanika Minorita want to contribute to help this evolution on our society. Office MAP products are becoming integrated into the document workflow environment of our customers, which open new opportunities for solutions and services. We are investing in the IT service business, which is a good fit with our core services delivery model. IT services offers the potential for growth in areas ranging from ECM, enterprise content management, to cloud services, all designed to help our clients better manage, produce, and store information. In the past, we had to be an expert on our products and technologies. Today, we must be an expert on the customer. A good example is here in our US organization. We have been trans transitioning from a traditional geographic-based sales approach to a vertical market strategy to solve problems specific to each market under our Envision IT branding platform. Today, we have successfully introduced practices in the healthcare, legal, and education market. To build a better future for all of our stakeholders, it is my job to continuously be looking how to both grow our share and expand our business domain. This leads me to MediaX. Kanika Minorita has thousands of R&D team members with skill set ranging from, ranging from the material science to software development. But it is challenging to keep pace with our current business requirements in rapidly global, rapidly changing global market conditions. In our view, it is critical to look outside the organization to partners and alliances to gather new insight that we can use to leverage our internal R&D capabilities. We felt that having the opportunity to participate in MediaX project with Stanford University could open new avenues of innovation and accelerate our time to market. First, working with MediaX allows us to look more broadly at the issues that customers may have. Second, the intellectual and academic resource within Stanford can greatly enhance both the viability of a project and the time to market. Third is a fresh perspective that is difficult to gain within a business. So that all makes sense for Konika Minorita. Our initial membership developed over three years in a research collaboration that inspired an extension of our core print production business, focusing on handling, handling rights management in the world of digital and print media. Through this collaboration, Konika Minoruta developed the human interface to the CIPIC's intellectual property engine developed by Stanford, which I am pleased to say is in a trial at several universities. I believe 
this business trial will create new values to students, professors, right holders, and universities. I am also looking forward to future opportunities to collaborate through MediaX. One of those is a potential in research, knowledge worker productivity. We just moved our global head of office headquarters to a new state of art intelligent building in Tokyo. In designing our space, we built the new office based on our hypothesis that providing increased opportunity for collaboration and communication can help us gain uh, productivity and more importantly, enhance creativity. We created a new workspace that we believe will lead to a new style of working. This can be realized through state-of-the-art technologies, but also our unique way of providing services and equipment. We think if we can measure the improvement in knowledge worker productivity, we may open the door to new business opportunity. We look forward to business proposals. I believe this open innovation partnerships makes all sense in realizing our corporate philosophy. At Konica Minolta, our business philosophy is creation of new values. And our communication message is giving shape to ideas. Konica Minolta strives to take on challenges its customers and society face, and by giving shape to the ideas that respond to social needs with breakthrough innovations, continue offering effective solutions to difficult situations from a global-minded point of view. Ultimately, we hope to contribute to let society become more prosperous, to deliver value to human creativity, to give people a better quality of work life, and ultimately contribute to a better quality society. I see a bright future in this leading edge partnership of the educational institutions and the business between ours. Thank you very much.